Hello, and welcome to The Investing Iguana, the show where I help you learn the art and science of investing. I'm A.D., your friendly host and guide, and today we're going to talk about a book that has inspired me a lot in my investing journey. It's called The Joy of Compounding, How Small Choices Lead to Big Financial Success by Gautam Bide. This book is not just another book on investing. It's a book that teaches you how to think like an investor, how to develop a lifelong learning habit, and how to achieve your financial goals by compounding your knowledge and wealth. It's a book that combines the wisdom of value investing with the principles of self-improvement and worldly wisdom. It's a book that will challenge you, enlighten you, and motivate you to become a better version of yourself. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the key takeaways from this book and how you can apply them to your own investing journey. But before we dive in, I want to ask you a favor. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of this book or any other books that have influenced your investing style. I love hearing from you and I appreciate your feedback. So without further ado, let's get started. Here are some of the main lessons that I learned from The Joy of Compounding by Gautam Bide. Lesson 1. Invest in yourself first. The first and most important lesson that Gautam Bide teaches us is that the best investment that you can make is an investment in yourself. This means that you need to focus on improving your intellectual and emotional skills, your knowledge base, and your habits. By investing in yourself, you will not only enhance your ability to make better investment decisions, but also improve your quality of life and happiness. Gautam Bide says that self-improvement is the ultimate form of compounding. By learning something new every day, by reading books, by taking courses, by listening to podcasts, by watching videos like this one, you are compounding your knowledge over time. And as your knowledge grows, so does your confidence, your curiosity, and your creativity. But self-improvement is not just about acquiring information. It's also about applying it to your life and your investments. It's about developing a mindset that is open-minded, humble, rational, and disciplined. It's about cultivating habits that are productive, healthy, and consistent. It's about finding your passion and purpose in life. Gautam Bide says that self-improvement is not a destination, but a journey. It's a lifelong process that requires constant effort and dedication. But it's also a rewarding process that pays off in multiple ways. By investing in yourself first, you will be able to invest in others better. You will be able to add value to the world and make a positive impact. You will be able to achieve your financial goals and live a fulfilling life. So how can you start investing in yourself today? Here are some practical tips that Gautam Bide suggests. Set aside some time every day for learning something new. It can be as little as 15 minutes or as much as an hour or more. Read books on topics that interest you or challenge you. Gautam Bide recommends reading at least one book per week. Take online courses or attend seminars or workshops on subjects that can enhance your skills or knowledge. Listen to podcasts or watch videos that can teach you something valuable or inspire you. Write down what you learn in a journal or a notebook. This will help you retain the information better and reflect on it later. Seek feedback from others who can help you improve or learn from their experiences. Experiment with new ideas or strategies in your investments or in other areas of your life. Review your progress regularly and celebrate your achievements. Lesson 2. Understand Human Nature and Emotions the second lesson that Gautam Bai teaches us is that in order to become a successful investor, you need to first understand human nature and emotions. He says that investing is not just about numbers and formulas, it's also about psychology and behavior. He says that human beings are not rational creatures, they are emotional creatures. They are prone to biases, errors, illusions, and fallacies. They are influenced by fear, greed, envy, pride, ego, and other emotions. They are affected by social pressure, herd mentality, authority figures, and media noise. These factors can cloud our judgment and lead us to make poor investment decisions. They can make us overestimate our abilities or underestimate our risks. They can make us chase fads or bubbles or panic sell at the bottom. They can make us ignore facts or evidence or follow opinions blindly. Gautam Bide says that the only way to overcome these psychological pitfalls is to be aware of them and to control them. He says that we need to develop a mental framework that can help us filter out the noise and focus on the signal. 
He says that we need to train our mind to be calm, objective, and logical. He says that we need to adopt a long-term perspective and a contrarian attitude. He says that the best way to learn about human nature and emotions is to study history, philosophy, psychology, and sociology. He says that these disciplines can teach us valuable lessons about how humans think, feel, and behave in different situations. He says that these lessons can help us avoid repeating the same mistakes or falling for the same traps. He also says that we need to learn from the masters of investing, such as Benjamin Graham, Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Howard Marks, and others. He says that these investors have demonstrated a deep understanding of human nature and emotions and have used it to their advantage. He says that we can learn from their principles, methods, and examples. Here are some of the key insights that Gautam Byte shares from these investing legends. 1. Benjamin Graham, the father of value investing, taught us the concept of margin of safety, which means buying stocks at a significant discount to their intrinsic value. He also taught us the difference between an investor and a speculator, and the importance of being rational and disciplined. 2. Warren Buffett, the most successful investor of all time, taught us the concept of economic moat, which means investing in businesses that have durable competitive advantages. He also taught us the concept of circle of competence, which means investing in what you know and understand. 3. Charlie Munger, the partner of Warren Buffett, taught us the concept of worldly wisdom, which means acquiring a multidisciplinary knowledge base. He also taught us the concept of mental models, which means using frameworks or tools to simplify complex problems. 4. Howard Marks, the co-founder of Oak Tree Capital, taught us the concept of second-level thinking, which means thinking beyond the obvious or conventional. He also taught us the concept of market cycles, which means understanding the fluctuations of prices and sentiments. Lesson 3. Be humble about your knowledge. The third lesson that Gautam Byte teaches us is that in order to become a successful investor, you need to be humble about your knowledge. He says that humility is one of the most important virtues that an investor can possess. He says that humility means acknowledging that you don't know everything and that you can be wrong. Humility means being open to new ideas and perspectives and being willing to learn from others. Humility means being curious and inquisitive and being eager to improve yourself. He says that humility is not a sign of weakness or ignorance, it's a sign of strength and wisdom. Humility can help you avoid overconfidence or arrogance, which can lead you to make costly mistakes or miss opportunities. Humility can help you cope with uncertainty or volatility, which are inevitable in investing. Humility can help you grow as an investor and as a person. Gautam Byte says that one of the best ways to cultivate humility is to adopt a beginner's mindset. He says that a beginner's mindset is a mindset that is always ready to learn something new, regardless of your level of expertise or experience. A beginner's mindset is a mindset that is always questioning your assumptions and challenging your beliefs. A beginner's mindset is a mindset that is always seeking feedback and criticism. He also says that another way to cultivate humility is to expose yourself to different sources of knowledge and wisdom. He says that you should read books from various genres and disciplines, not just finance or investing. He says that you should listen to podcasts or watch videos from different experts and influencers, not just those who agree with you. He says that you should interact with people from different backgrounds and cultures, not just those who are similar to you. He says that by doing these things, you will expand your horizons and enrich your mind. You will discover new concepts or perspectives that can enhance your understanding or challenge your thinking. You will appreciate the diversity and complexity of the world and yourself. Lesson 4. Basic arithmetic is enough to understand investing. The fourth lesson that Gautam Byte teaches us is that in order to become a successful investor, you don't need advanced mathematics or statistics. Basic arithmetic is enough. He says that investing is not rocket science, it's common sense. He says that many people are intimidated by investing because they think it requires complicated calculations or formulas. They think they need to master algebra or calculus or probability or regression analysis. They think they need to use sophisticated models or algorithms or software. He says that this is not true, most of these tools are unnecessary or even misleading for investors. He says that they often create an illusion of precision or accuracy, when in reality they are based on assumptions or estimates that can be flawed or inaccurate. He says that they often ignore the qualitative aspects or intangibles of investing, such as management quality, competitive advantage, customer loyalty, etc. 
He says that the only math that you need to understand investing is basic arithmetic, such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. He says that these operations are enough to calculate the most important metrics or ratios that investors use, such as earnings per share, price-to-earnings ratio, return on equity, dividend yield, etc. He says that these metrics or ratios can help you evaluate the performance, valuation, profitability, and growth of a business. He also says that basic arithmetic is enough to understand the power of compounding, which is the key to wealth creation. He says that compounding means earning interest on interest or reinvesting your returns to generate more returns. He says that compounding can help you grow your money exponentially over time as long as you start early, save regularly, and invest wisely. Gautam Bide also says that the formula for compounding is simple, FV equals PV time, 1 plus R, to the power of N, where FV is the future value of your investment, PV is the present value of your investment, R is the annual interest rate or return, and N is the number of years. He says that this formula can help you estimate how much money you will have in the future, given a certain amount of money today and a certain rate of return. He also says that you can use the rule of 72 to estimate how long it will take for your money to double at a given rate of return. He says that the rule of 72 is a shortcut that says 72 divided by R equals N, where R is the annual interest rate or return, and N is the number of years. He says that this rule can help you compare different investment options or scenarios. For example, if you invest $10,000 at a 10% annual return, how much money will you have in 10 years? Using the formula for compounding, you can calculate FV equals 10,000 times 1 plus 0 0.1 to the power of 10 is equal to 25,937.42. This means that your $10,000 will grow to $25,937.42 in 10 years at a 10% annual return. Using the rule of 72, you can also estimate how long it will take for your $10,000 to double at a 10% annual return. You can calculate 72 divided by 10 is equal to 7.2. This means that it will take about 7.2 years for your $10,000 to become $20,000 at a 10% annual return. As you can see, these calculations are simple and easy to do. You don't need a calculator or a spreadsheet. You can do them in your head or on a piece of paper. And they can help you make better investment decisions and achieve your financial goals. Lesson 5. Improve your investing process. The fifth lesson that Gautam Bai teaches us is that in order to become a successful investor, you need to improve your investing process. He says that investing is not just about picking stocks or timing the market, it's also about following a systematic and disciplined approach. He says that many investors focus too much on the outcome or the result of their investments. They judge their success or failure by the price movements or the returns of their stocks. He says that this is a mistake. Price movements or returns are not under your control. They are influenced by many factors that are unpredictable or random. He says that instead of focusing on the outcome or the result, you should focus on the process or the method of your investments. You should judge your success or failure by the quality of your analysis or the soundness of your reasoning. He says that this is what you can control. This is what determines your long-term performance. He says that by improving your investing process, you will be able to make more informed and rational decisions, you will be able to avoid mistakes or errors, you will be able to learn from your experiences, and you will be able to achieve consistent and sustainable results. Gautam Bait says that one of the best ways to improve your investing process is to maintain an investment journal. He says that an investment journal is a record of your thoughts and actions regarding your investments. He says that an investment journal can help you document your investment thesis or rationale, track your portfolio performance and review, identify your strengths and weaknesses, and refine your strategy and style. He also says that another way to improve your investing process is to create a checklist. He says that a checklist is a list of questions or criteria that you use to evaluate an investment opportunity. He says that a checklist can help you avoid cognitive biases or errors, ensure completeness and accuracy, simplify complexity and uncertainty, and increase efficiency and effectiveness. He also says that another way to improve your investing process is to invest for the long term. He says that long term investing means holding stocks for years or decades, not days or months. 
He says that long-term investing can help you benefit from compounding, reduce transaction costs and taxes, avoid market noise and volatility, and align your interests with the business owners. He says that by maintaining an investment journal, creating a checklist, and investing for the long term, you will be able to improve your investing process and become a better investor. That's it for the book summary for The Joy of Compounding, How Small Choices Lead to Big Financial Success by J.L. Collins. Well folks, that's a wrap. If this video tickled your finance bone and left you richer in knowledge, go on and hit that like button with the same vigor you'd use to grab a discounted item off a store shelf. It's the secret handshake that tells us you enjoyed the journey. And hey, it's a free way to vote for more finance-savvy content. While you're here, why not subscribe and become a member of the Iguana Club? We promise, no initiation rituals or secret handshakes, just solid financial wisdom delivered straight to your screen. It's like having a money mentor in your pocket. Oh, and believe me, we're just getting warmed up. We've got a goldmine of finance wizardry coming your way. Ever wondered about the nitty-gritty of investment strategies? Or perhaps how to tame the beast called the stock market? Well, consider us your financial GPS. You are part of the Investing Iguana family now. And every like, share, and subscribe is like a high five that keeps us going. It's like caffeine for our creativity, and we sure do love our coffee. So, thanks for sticking around. Remember, the road to wealth is paved with informed decisions. Stay curious, keep learning, and let's grow together. See you in the next video for another exciting episode of Finance Fun. Adios amigos.